creating a logo in Corel Draw. In this tutorial, we'll look at creating a logo for an electrical contracting firm. The goal is to create a logo that is clean and easily recognizable. We'll start with a new document. And because we're going to be creating a logo, at this point, page size is not really important. So just set the preset destination to Corel Draw default. We want to create a lighthouse image with rays emanating from behind. To do this, we'll start by creating a 3-inch diameter ellipse. Select the Ellipse tool from the toolbox on the left-hand side, and then while holding down the Control key, click and drag to create a perfect ellipse. Make the ellipse about 3 inches in diameter, and to verify that, look at the interactive property bar and make sure the object size shows 3 inches horizontal and 3 inches vertical. And there you have it. Now the next step we want to do is create a horizontal line going through the ellipse. Select the freehand tool, hold the control key down, click once on the left hand side of the ellipse, drag your cursor across, click once on the right hand side of the ellipse, and that will create a hor perfectly horizontal line. Next what we want to do is ensure that this line is perfectly centered within the ellipse. To do that, Tap the space bar and this is going to return us to the pick tool. Now hold the shift key down and while holding the shift key down click on the ellipse. Tap the letter C for center and E for even. Next we want to duplicate this horizontal line. To do so we want to make sure that our duplicate offset is set to 0x and 0y. In the interactive property bar at the, ta at the top Select the current value and ensure that that is 0, as well as in the Y position. And now select your horizontal line, Control D to duplicate. Alternatively, you can use the plus key on the numeric keypad if you have a standard uh, desktop keyboard. Control D will duplicate this object in place. And now next we want to rotate this, and we're going to rotate this 12 degrees. Again, interactive property bar, highlight the angle of rotation and type in a value of 12 and hit enter. Now the next thing we're going to take a look at is something called Smart Duplicate. Smart Duplicate was introduced in CorelDRAW 10 and basically the way it works is this. Once an object is duplicated, the next transformations made to that object are remembered and applied to any subsequent duplicate. With this in mind, Control D again will rotate this object 12 degrees. Repeat it 13 more times until we've gone full circle. I'm just going to hit F4 to zoom in a little bit closer. And now what I want to do is I'm going to use my Smart Fill tool. The Smart Fill tool really is smart. It allows you to create objects from enclosed areas by applying a fill and or an outline to that area. Select the Smart Fill tool and on the interactive property bar specify the color that you want to use as a fill. I'm going to select the deep yellow and for my outline option I want no outline. Next I'll simply click in the void where I want that object created. I go around these objects and I can actually create the rays of the sun quite easily. Now the next step is to remove all my lines that I've created so I have just the rays left over. I'm going to select the pick tool and remember I can either go to the toolbox or simply tap the space bar and that will toggle back and forth between the pick tool and the last tool selected. Now I'm going to marquee select the objects that I want to delete. If I hold the Alt key down, I don't have to completely encompass every object, just have to touch the objects. Let the mouse button go and I'll hit the Delete key. I now only need to delete this one last line. Very quickly and very easily, I've been able to remove those objects. I'm now going to marquee select my rays and Control G on the keyboard will allow me to group. Alternatively, I can click on this icon on my interactive property bar to group those so I now have a single group of eight objects. Next we're going to be dealing with the rectangle tool. It's time to create the lighthouse and this is made up of a series of rectangles. Select the rectangle tool from my toolbox. I'm going to select the tool, click and drag to create a rectangle. I want very specific dimensions for this. 
So I'm going to unlock my lock ratio button. On my horizontal dimension, I want to type in 0.5. I'll hit my tab key, and this will bring me down to my vertical position. And I'm going to type in 1.3 inches and hit Enter. Next, I'm going to select my pick tool. I'll hold the shift key down and I'm going to select the rays of the sun. I'll tap the letter C and the letter B. C will center justify, or center align rather, and B will align with the bottom of the rays for the sun. Next, I want to create another rectangle that is one half inch by 0.125 of an inch. And a third one that is one quarter inch by one quarter inch click and drag and I'm going to make this one as I've mentioned 0.5 inches by 0.125 inches and a third one that is 0.25 by 0.25 or one quarter by one quarter so holding the control key down allows me to cl click and drag and I can very easily uh, constrain that Making sure that I am locked, I'm going to type in the value of 0.25, and there we have it. Now that I have these rectangles selected, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard. I'm going to take the second rectangle and drag and drop that on top of my first rectangle. I'll take the third and drop that on top of the second rectangle. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second and first rectangle left click on the white to give them a white fill. Now deselect these, select just the bottom rectangle and from my arrange menu go down to convert to curves. Using my shape tool from the toolbox I can now pull these nodes in and I'm going to pull them in about an eighth of an inch. And finally with the top rectangle I'm not going to convert to curves. What I, I, what I am going to do is I'm going to change the corner radius. To do that, I just want to affect the top two corners. So I'm going to deselect the Edit Corners Together lock. And now I can use the corner radius scroll to change this value. I'm going to make that 1.0 for the upper left. And I'm going to make the upper right 1.0 as well. And it's just a matter of dragging that up. Alternatively, I could swipe across in here and put a value. And finally, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to left click on my red color swatch. And finally, to complete the lighthouse, we need to make the door. I'm going to select the red object at the top. Control D on the keyboard will duplicate this and I'm going to change this to black. Now, one thing in Corel Draw is we have the ability to use mathematical formulas in our interactive property bar for object position, object size, as well as scale factor. I'm going to click on my vertical scale factor at the end of the 100 and I'm going to type in plus 50. What this is going to do is it's going to increase the size of this by 50%. I'll hold the shift key down select the main tower for the lighthouse and tap the letter B for bottom. And there you have it. There's our completed artwork for the lighthouse. The next step is to add the text or the company name at the bottom. I'm going to tap F4 on the keyboard and this will zoom to all objects that have been drawn on my page. From the toolbox on the left hand side I'm going to select the artistic text tool. I'll click and then click on my page. I'm going to type in my company name, which is Lighthouse Electric. And now I'll need to change the font. I'm going to select the text. And from the interactive property bar, my font drop down. I can either scroll through the list, or if I tap the letter M, it will scroll directly to that location where the letter M fonts start. The font I'm going to be using is one called Moolboran. So select my font and now I'll set the point size. Alternatively, with the pick tool selected, I can position my font and then simply resize it 
using my sizing handles. Move this down a little bit. I'm going to left click on the red. And there we have it. And now the final step would be to remove the outline from the lighthouse itself. Marquee select the lighthouse and then simply right click on the color palette to remove the outline. With just a few simple steps, it's easy to create a recognizable logo in Corel Draw. This tutorial, as well as many others, can be found in the book Bring It Home with Corel Draw, a guide to in-house graphic design, available through Corel Sales or Amazon.com.